Hi guys, this is my machine nearly set up. All that I've got left is to wire up the uh, the motor for the Z-axis as well as put the um, limit switches in. Um, this sort of mount that I've just made up is just a bit of angle bracket. At the moment I'm using this because I'm getting a bit impatient. Uh, once, once it's all up and running I'll get it to make its own bracket and then it'll be um, a lot more rigid. Alright, um, now limit switches. Um, I just want to explain a little bit about them. Um, these toggle switches, these little switches I got from eBay. About, I don't know, about 18 bucks for 20. No, 18 bucks for about 10 of them, sorry. Um, you want to wire them up so they're normally closed, which means that the current is uh, constantly going through them. Um, and when it, uh, the switch actually activates, uh, the current stops. Uh, why they've done it, they class it as a safety, uh, as in if one of these wires happens to come loose, instead of just making the switch not work currently, it'll sense that the current is no longer flo flowing and it will uh, shut down the machine. Um, so obviously there's two switches on each axis. Um, that's how I've, I've made it. So I've got a, I'm sort of um, trying to make it, a, it as idiot proof as possible. Um, and the other one you can't see, it's actually um, over the other side. I've had to put it in. Um, these cables hanging down, uh, well, I miscalculated how much I need where I wanted the computer, so um, until I get some longer cables, which will probably be tomorrow or so, uh, they'll have to stay like this for now. Alright, I'll just um, show you how to do the... We've got a reference all home, which is basically zeroes the machine. So we'll press that. It'll do one, one, one axis at a time. Till it, so it'll come over here till it hits the switch then it'll back itself off a little bit and you can see obviously it won't do the vertical z-axis uh, because there's no motor on it at the moment and there you go so now we basically um, zero, zero, uh, which means this point here is basically your bottom left hand corner, which you can set it up to whatever you want, but I and everyone else seems to recommend it at that stage. I'll just um, show you soft limits, which I have set up, uh, which is uh, this button here. Uh, you have to put that in yourself. What that means is it actually won't wait till the switch activates. Um, I've set it up so it will just go off just before that. Obviously you can make it stop right here with the soft limits if you want. Uh, but I just want it to... And there you go. That's, that's a soft limit. As you can see, the switch isn't even on. Same as this axis, it'll stop just before that. I don't know whether you can see that, but yeah, the switch isn't engaged yet. Um, I still have to tune the motors. I'm still getting my head, my head around it um, to <laughs> how it's actually, uh, how it works and what you have to do. It took me an hour just to work out how to get the motor spinning. All right, so what we'll do is... Um, I'll just insert a little bit of a G code that they um, came with the with the program Mac three. Um, so what we'll do is, as you can see, it's a scorpion. Uh, what we'll do is, um, I want it to actually start cutting from where it is now, not at zero. So it actually isn't at zero now. If zero is around here. So what we'll need to do is uh, zero the axis right here, 
regen the toolpath which is as you can see that's my table size it uh, will hear these little dots yeah and it's brought into center so now it's um, I should be able to hit cycle start and it's actually moving to the to the spot what I'll do is I'll put it up in a toolpath there you go Now uh, you hear a little bit of racketing going on, that's um, only I still have to pull it all apart and uh, put Loctite and all the screws and get everything set up um, nice and tight. As you can see it's nearly done. Obviously you can um, vary the feed rate so you can slow it down. It just depends you know how much your machine can take. Um, I don't think I'll be going this speed maybe just a bit slower. But it's uh, this program is pretty um, in depth so I'm just trying to get my head around it. Now when you're finished, um, it'll bring it to where I told it to regen, so it'll just, it won't zero, bring it to zero, but I'll, it'll um, bring it back to where we sort of started from, as you can see the machines. And there you go, uh, once I st start fiddling around with it a bit more and I uh, find more stuff and new stuff on the actual on the um, program I'll um, update the videos the motors get actually quite hot I'm surprised at how hot uh, <laughs> how much heat they put out so um, this enable switch when when I flick that to off um, it actually cuts the power to the motors as well so which is pretty good because it cools them down and as you can see that the uh, reset um, emergency mode act is active at the moment all right um thanks guys hopefully next video we'll have the zx set up and uh, we'll do a bit of cutting thanks for watching